to ask you to do me a favor. I want you to, uh, come on, let's give a hand of praise to God. Let's
the house of the Lord. It was for the Lord and for all of us. For the children the ones the door the foot. But when you to you like to have the I knew it. I the Lord and all the times. And it's crazy to Oh, yeah. 
and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. May God have a blessing to the reading of his word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. control what the joy it is and I thank God for you just want to welcome you again to Christian Compass Ministries and for all who are friends and family who are sharing with us in this worship experience we say welcome and we praise God for you I want to thank um, Minister Timmons and Tim Simmons and Reverend, Reverend Tullis for sharing our worship experience and for all of you who who, uh, who are not afraid to come to worship God bless God for you, and I pray that, that you will continue to keep on coming as we will continue to keep our doors open, blessing the Lord. We, we're making every effort to keep our church and sanctuary clean. We will do all we can. We want to encourage you to keep washing your hands. Amen. I think that's the best thing we can do for ourselves and, and for each other. And I want to encourage those of you who haven't taken the vaccine to go do that. It's, it's, it is it is. We want to give other people credit, but it is because of God Amen. that we have this protection and we will continue to thank him for it. Holy Communion today will be a little bit different than we normally do it. Um, I hope that you picked up your little kits. Um, they can be a, be a tad challenging to open them, but if you're patient, they uh, they open okay. You'll get the bread first and then the wine. Reverend Tullis and I will share here in front and we will share together in our Holy Communion. If you don't have uh, one of the little kids, uh, the usher will share one with you. I want to also uh, take this moment to ask that you would pray for our sick and shut in. Pray for those who called and asked us to pray for them. Uh, we do that genuinely. You know, a lot of times we say, well, I want you to pray for my family or pray for my so-and-so. And we say, yes, we're going to do that. And then we get busy and, and either forget. But I want to encourage you to pray for Brother Jimmy Looper today. Brother Looper has been challenged with, with an illness, and uh, I want to ask that you pray for him and pray for his wife and his family. I want to lift up Jane Jones today. Jane is a member of our church, and um, she is in a hospital in Florida, and we're praying for her and for her family. I want you to pray diligently for her. And then I want to ask that you pray for Sister Mary Vaughn's dad. Um, you all know Mary and know how diligent she has been here. Christian Compass Ministries, and we are lifting her dad up in prayer today. Pray for Brother Fred Daniels and his wife, and indeed, pray for Cecile. She's had, she had a birthday yesterday, I believe, and so we want to thank God for her and other family members. We want to lift up the family of our sister and friend, Janet Overton Sly, whose funeral services are this, today and this afternoon. We want to pray for them. Our tithes and offerings, if you have your envelope, there's a box just as you came in today, if you haven't already, you can drop your tithes and your, and your offering envelope in that box. We are trying to do all we can to keep from the contact, direct contact, but we just praise God for just being in your presence and for his being in our presence. Now, I want to say this before we move on. Next Sunday is Mother's Day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for mothers. And we have a wonderful program planned for next Sunday. So if you're tuning in, please don't miss next Sunday. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you're coming to worship, be here early because we're going to have a shouting good time Amen. celebrating mothers and celebrate those folks who want to be mothers, who are mothers, who are grandmothers and mothers-in-laws. And we're going to celebrate mothers next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Brother Simmons is coming now with our selection before the sermon. And then we'll hear the word of God for his people. Our hearts wide be glorified in this your holy temple, in this your holy place, and we will rise to Zion's height to praise and glorify. 
you, Jesus. Come on, if it doesn't make you too uncomfortable, come on and begin to praise. Come on, Lord, begin to worship. Because of your loving kindness, it's better than life to me. My lips shall praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, how we worship. Oh, how we praise you, God. For all that you are and all that you do. Yeah. Oh, holy God, we come right now to speak a word to your people. We come to, to echo your word. To, preach what you've given us and we praise you and ask that you would bless your word today that it may fall on fertile soil that somebody might hear you today and be blessed that somebody might hear you and desire to give you their lives we bless you we honor you we love you we thank you in jesus name amen and oh how we love you I just want to say another word of thanks to all of you who are present in the sanctuary, I, I do want to say a special welcome to Mrs. Jeffrey Tullis, just to tell her how happy we are to see her. We haven't seen her in a while, and we're glad to have her with us. And all of you, we are just, uh, just excited about having this time back together in worship. Our scripture lesson today for the sermon comes from the book of 2 Samuel. The book of 2 Samuel. I want to read that passage to you and ask that you might take a moment later on to look at much of that six chapters. It's a fascinating passage of scripture. I'm going to be reading from the New International Version, uh, beginning there at the ninth verse, the sixth chapter of 2 Samuel. David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How can the ark of the Lord ever come to me? He was not willing to take the ark of the Lord to be with him in the city of David. Instead, he took it to the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite. The ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, for three months. And the Lord blessed him and his entire household. Now King David was told, the Lord has blessed the household the household of Obed-Edom and everything he has because of the ark of the Lord, because of the ark of the Lord. So David went to bring up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with rejoicing. When those who were carrying the ark of the Lord had taken six steps, he sacrificed a bull and a fattened calf, wearing a linen ephod David was dancing before the Lord with all his might. While he and all Israel were bringing up the ark of the Lord with shouts and the sound of trumpet. For, for just a little while today, on this Sunday that we come back to worship together. I, I want to preach for just a little while from this thought. God is worthy of all our praise. God is worthy of all our praise. Here we are. Here we are now, here we are again, back together in worship. And, 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 and I know that I speak for all of you when I tell you that God has been good. Yes. It's been he who has blessed us and cared for us and, and taken us. About a year ago, this time, just about this time, we were all in a frenzy and all frantic and fearful and there was anxiety all over the place that we just did not know what we were dealing with. We didn't know what, where we were going. We had crazy, lead, I mean, we had leadership that was not comfortable in, in, in our leadership areas and we were just uncertain. And But God... Help me, Holy Ghost. But God was right there by our side. And, and he told us just to trust in him and to be patient. And here we are now, 13 months later, sitting in the sanctuary, worshiping the God who is worthy of all our praise. What a year it has been. What a year. What a year it has been. And we're now able to come back together for corporate worship. 
And through it all, through all the challenges, in spite of all the hard times, God has been good. He has blessed us. He's protected us. He's kept us safe from this dreaded virus that has taken more than almost 600,000 lives in this country and still wreaking havoc around the world. And as we prayed for one another and stayed in touch, God stayed with us. He has been our shield and our sure defense. He, he's been our strong tower. He's been our way out of nowhere. He is God and God all by himself. Yes. Yeah, early in the pandemic when we were all closeted in our homes, help me Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. and with fear and anxiety running rampant and, and, and gripping our country, when people didn't know who, who would be next to contract the virus, we, we, didn't, we didn't know who was going to die next. Help me, Holy Ghost. The people were dying everywhere, but we stayed in prayer. Yes. Many of us lost family members. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. And some became ill, and some died. And even, even those who died from reasons other than COVID, yes. we, we couldn't go to visit them. We, yes. we, couldn't, we couldn't go touch them. We yes. couldn't share in their pain and their anxiety. Uh, and, and, and then when we had homecoming and homegoing services, we couldn't go to share like we wanted to. We had them at grave sites and in funeral homes. But God, yeah. help me, Holy Ghost, God stayed with us. Yeah. And he is still God right now today. And he is sure to his promise that he will never leave us nor forsake us. What a mighty God we serve. Somebody ought to praise the Lord right there. What a mighty God we serve. Now, now all kinds of political upheaval and corruption all around the world. Many countries are still struggling with this virus and yeah. trying to gain control. The mm -hmm. social and political division has been greatly magnified in this country. Yeah. That would be Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. People hating people. Mm -hmm. People being ugly to people. Yeah. People being uncaring and unkind. Just downright mean. Mm -hmm. Just because people don't look like you or sound like you or came from some other place than you did. It's been a difficult time. It's been a troubling time. Mm -hmm. But God, help me, Holy Ghost, yes. is God. Yes. And, 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 and we who are made in his image and, and been lifted up a little higher than the angel, that's what the Bible says. Yes. And, and, and God has been our anchor. He's been our bridge over troubled waters. Yes. He's fought our battles. He's given us peace. He's, he, he's, he's looked beyond our faults and then rewarded us. When things look dreary and dark, God was our burden bearer. Yeah. And we have every reason on this day every to raise his name in thanksgiving yeah. and praise. Yeah. And to shout for the victory Hallelujah. is on the way. Yes. Even when things look bad, yes. when the road was all uphill, mm -hmm. when fear and doubt took place in our hearts and in our homes, mm -hmm. in our lives, we kept the faith. We stayed the course we come to lift our voice in praise because we knew that God was on our side. Yes. And so and so today, as we gather again in worship, and, 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 and we're here because we're trusting in God mm -hmm. and believing that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Yes. And so we open our doors in worship today because we believe that there is no fear in God. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. And that there is strength in numbers. Yes. Oh, yes. And, so, and so we... Thank God for bringing us thus far. Yes. And so it seemed to me that our immediate response should be one of praise. Yes. Yes. That, that, that's, that, that's how it looks. That's how it looks to me. And, 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 and praise and to express our thanksgiving to honor God for all that he has done. Yes. And to praise him for what he does. Yes. To celebrate him for our return to worship. Yes. It seems to me that we ought to just lift our voices in praise and adoration. Sounds like I got some company. Sounds like I got some witnesses in the house today. For the Lord has been good and good all the time. And for that reason, for that reason, I chose our friend David. As our focus for our worship today, you, you, you know David. David, the great singer of Israel. David, who, who's, whose writings are filled with joy and celebration, praise and adoration. And so in our text, we find David, who is now the king of Israel. He's traveling with a massive entourage. When you look at that scripture, it talks about the thousands of people who traveled with the king down to Obed-Edom's house. 
And they went down there to bring back the Ark of the Covenant mm -hmm. to the city of David, to Jerusalem. As our central figure and leading man in our message today, he, he is the quintessential leader of Israel. Uh -huh. he, he has succeeded in unifying the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. He has brought them back to the state of touching the Ark. Because all the people need the presence of God. Yeah. All, all the people need to be blessed. Yeah. They need to know that no matter what's happening in their lives, God is with them. Yeah. David said, no matter what the problem is, COVID or otherwise, God is with us. Yeah. Right or wrong, bad or good, God is with us. Yeah. When you can't make sense out of your situation, just know that God is with you. Yeah. Listen, listen, David and this huge entourage is on their way now down to Obed-Edom's house. David dressed in his royal regalia, the, the professional attire, looking like the king he was, wearing the full dress of the imperial power of the king, walking with all the respect and dignity that is due him, and, and, and now they're ready to go. And, and, and you need to know now, this is no small thing that they're about to undertake. Operating under the authority and power and prestige he has, David tells Obed-Edom when they arrive that he has come to take back the ark to the city of David. Uh -huh. And he said, you see, he said, David talking to Obed, he said, now you see, Obed, this is bigger than you. This is bigger than your household. You can't just keep God all to yourself. Uh -huh. You know, you're trying, trying to explain to Obed why he's come to take the ark. But, but he is the king. Now, 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 I need you to hold that thought for just a moment. Because, 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 because I want to help somebody right here. When the Lord, when the Lord has been good to you, you don't mind sharing him with others. You see, you don't mind letting people know how good God has been. And, and this is largely the premise and the theory behind your giving and your offering and your tithes. You don't mind giving back what God has given you because you know where that came from. Y'all got it, right? You got it. Where that came from. Boy, it's coming. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I know I got to have some witnesses in here yeah. who can testify that when you gave away some of your possessions because you knew that God was going to fill your cup all up again. Yeah. Obed-Edom told David, take the off. You, you, you can have it. We, we've been enjoying the presence of God. Go ahead, take the off. For God will supply <laughs> Y'all already there, right? Yeah, see, 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 oh man, knew the story. He said, he said, God will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. Yes. Now, here's where the story gets real rich. And, and I'm not going to be long, but I want to just share this balance of the exciting time. David and his people secured the ark. Help me, Holy Ghost. And, and, and the Bible said they wanted to go on just a little ways, talk about six steps or something or another. But let's just say they just gone maybe a block or so around the corner. And David said, stop! <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. The procession stopped. And you, you know, when you got that many people together, they started murmuring and talking, mm -hmm. what, yeah. what are we stopping for? Mm -hmm. We got this long way to go back to Jerusalem. What, what are we stopping? We just got started. Yeah. You know, the whining and going on. David said, before we make one more step. Yes. We need to stop right here and honor God. Oh, yeah. 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 You, know, you know, as crazy as David was sometimes, David, David was a man after God's own heart. Yeah. He, he says, he says that we have to stop and worship God because if God had not given us his grace and poured it out upon us, if God hadn't blessed us the way he did, if he had loved us as he does, yeah. this moment, help me, Holy Ghost, this moment, this moment you had in worship, this, this moment would not be ours. Yeah. My brothers and my sisters, every now and then, every now and then, yeah. we need to stop and worship God for the moments he creates yeah. in your life. Yeah. Now, now, notice I didn't say the moments he gives you. I, I, I said, I said, the moments that he creates, because you see, you see, you see, we don't always realize that God, you know, we know that he is the omnipotent God, but there are times when he has to move some things and 
shift some things and mm -hmm. delete some things and yeah. move some people just to build up what he wants for you. Yeah. See, you may not think about it, but there are some things God has to realize mm -hmm. in order to get you what he wants for you. Yeah. He has to create, create some stuff. Think about it, think about it. In order for you to be in service today, uh -huh. <laughs> for us to re gather together in worship, mm -hmm. God had to cover you. Yeah. He had to protect you. Yeah. He had to keep you. Yeah. He had to bless you. Yeah. you. You know some people he had to get out of your way so you can get to worship today. Yeah. Yeah. The, the people that had every reason to convince you not to come to worship. Yeah. God had to move them out of the way. Yeah. And then he had to work on you <laughs> to get you to understand that you need to bless and have trust in him. Yeah. God had to put some things in place so that you could be sitting right here today. Yeah. That's God. That's God. Now, I need you to think about it this way. He had to orchestrate some stuff in order to get you that job you got. Yeah. 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 Holy Ghost. Yeah. For, for you to get that promotion that you have. Yeah. Think, think about it. Some people he had to hold back. Yeah. Some he had to move over to the side uh -huh. just so he could move you through. <laughs> Not me, Holy Ghost. God working on your behalf, creating some stuff on your behalf. Yeah. God even had to have the doubters out of town yeah. the day your name came to the table. Yeah. See, so he wouldn't have all that noise going on when he started talking. He had to open some doors and shut some doors just for you. Yeah. We praise God yeah. and we worship God because he creates stuff yeah. just for us. Yeah. We praise him because he works on our behalf. The Bible says he neither slumbers no nor sleeps. Yeah. He created, he created ex nihilo out of nothing. Oh, yeah. He created some stuff just for you and me. Yeah, he blesses us to transform our lives. Yeah. And somebody in here ought to get excited. Yeah. But the way God creates some stuff, uh -huh. I'm going to leave it alone because I know you got it right there, but we, we have every reason every. to praise him in the sanctuary. To lift our hands in the sanctuary, to do our little dance, mm -hmm. to shift ourselves around, to lift our voices in praise. Whenever I remember how good God has been, and we do it because He's worthy of all our praise. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, now about through Him. Before they could do anything, I told you this is this is the exciting piece. That so David said they they told the people. We need to stop mm -hmm. and, and, and we need to stop right now mm -hmm. and worship God. Yes. Oh, yeah. he, 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 he didn't have to do what he did for us, mm -hmm. David said. Yeah. He, he didn't have to bless us the way he did. Mm -hmm. We worship God because he didn't have to give us a second chance or, or a third chance. We worship him because he's been patient. Mm -hmm. He worked with us until we got our little selves together. Oh, Even though we didn't deserve it, God kept on blessing us. When we were wrong, he blessed us. When we acted a fool, he blessed us. Yeah, I am what I am. But in fact, I'm a lot more than what I am because I am what I used to be, transformed by the grace of God. And so we ought to just bless him and thank him. So David told the people, we got the ark now. And we're on our way back home. But I can't return the way I'm dressed. You remember what I, I, I told you how they looked. David said, I can't go back to dress like this. See, 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 see. And, and I'm not sure where he went. Maybe he went back into Obed Edom's house, mm -hmm. and, and and he told the people, you know, he had, the, you know, the king always had a waiting group of people waiting on him. So he told them to take off all this professional garb, mm -hmm. to take off this regalia that I've got on here, uh -huh. and put on <laughs> the linen ephod. Uh -huh. You saw it right there in the text. Uh -huh. it says that David. Now, now, the ephod was normally worn by the priest. Uh -huh. It was an apron-like garment with gold and, and silver and, and, and some fine twisted linen mm -hmm. and attached to a shoulder piece and it ran down to ankle length. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's the general description of the linen ephod. But David's huh, ephod was a lot different. Okay. He wanted to wear something that spoke of his being servant of God. Okay. Yes, he was their king, but he was also God's servant. Yeah. And, and so the garment David wore mm -hmm. could, didn't cover much of his body. Mm -hmm. be only you got to read the rest of that text. Uh, 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 it, it was a simple piece of linen cloth uh -huh. worn around his waist. Mm -hmm. Basically, <laughs> 
David didn't have much on. And, 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 and you, can, you would really say that David was naked. And, and, and if you read down a little further, you can see his wife got all upset and embarrassed because he was acting what she thought was the fool out there with no clothes on. And somebody said, is this what the king wears? David said, I'm not here to impress you. I'm not, I'm not here to, 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 to tell you who I am. I'm here to remind myself and to tell God that I'm his servant. No matter how high I go in your eyes, I'm still down here in God's eyes. Too often we try to impress people who can't do nothing for you. But what we need to do is to praise the one who can do everything for you. And that, that, that's what we need to do. And so, and, so, and so David said, I know I can walk with kings and great dignitaries. But I am also a worshiper of the real king. I'm not here just as a leader of the nation. I'm also the chief praiser of God. And after worship is over, then the praise began. And praise, my brothers and sisters, is just about celebrating what God has done in your life. That's what praise is all about. Praise is about the exaltation of the spirit as it releases in your soul. As you decide to give God adoration, that's what happens when you release in the name of God. And so when you and I leave church today, we ought not leave like we came in. We ought to leave. We ought to be leaving, shouting the praise of God. When the worship ends, the praise begins. And we ought to shout hallelujah to the God on high. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Dress now. <laughs> dress in his little linen ephod. You know, the little piece of clothing. David went out to lead the people in worship. Normally, it was the women who led the praise and dance. But on this day, help me, Holy Ghost, David realized how good God has been and he just couldn't keep it to himself. He just couldn't hold it. And so he said, he said, if you think only the women can praise God, you ought to take a good look at this. And the Bible says that David danced before the Lord with all his might. Now, now, my brothers and my sisters, the truth be told, that ought to be our testimony today. I, I, I'm going to praise him because nobody can praise him for me. Because nobody knows the hell I've been through. Nobody knows how far God has brought me. Nobody can praise him like I praise him. Nobody knows how he healed me, how he took care of me, how he delivered me. Nobody knows the joy that he put down in my soul. Nobody like I know what the Lord done, done for me. So I gotta praise him. There might be somebody. There might be somebody out there. Maybe somebody who's gone through this COVID thing who can testify that they contracted COVID. They were put on a ventilator, but not. There were days when they struggled to breathe. Didn't think they might make it. But God, finally, family couldn't come to see them. They were scared and frightened. But God stepped in just on time. Nobody, nobody but God can heal my body. Nobody but God can lift my spirit. The doctors look on in concern. I could tell they didn't know what to do. But God stepped in just on time and reached down and picked me up and shine. I'm going to praise him like I praise him. I'm going to shout for joy for all he's done for me. I just don't know what I would do if it not been for the Lord on my side. And if you don't move out of my way, I'm going to shout right in your face. I'm going to shout all over your feet. I'm going to praise my God. He is worthy. He is worthy. Yes, he is worthy of all praise. And if you don't praise him, I'm going to praise him all by myself. But he's been gone on my side. Can you hear David? Can you hear David now? He's leading the people in worship. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continue to be in my mouth. My soul. Hey, David. For making boast in the Lord. I want you to hear and be glad. The Lord is worthy. I don't know how you feel about it. In fact, I don't really care how you feel about it. I'm gonna shout because God is only going for me. When I think about how far He brought me, all I didn't deserve, God. I just can't help myself. I just can't hold my 
peace, God. When I think about how he loved me more than I love myself, when I shout joy because of the Lord has been on my side, my joy may not be cute. I, 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 my dance may need a little rhythm, but I plan to shout. just be glad to be in the family of God, to be blessed. And so, if there are those of you here today, those who are listening and watching, if you don't have a church home, if you're looking for a new place to worship, mm -hmm. if, 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 if you want to be a part of the body of Christ, now is an opportunity for you to come and give your life to God. If you're looking for a church home, this is the place. I, I just have to tell you because I'm a little little prejudice. Help me on go. Christian Compass Ministries is the place you want to be. And we offer God to you today. For he is our Savior. He's the one who's taken care of us. He's the one who's blessed us. He's the one who's provided for us. Help me Holy Ghost. We couldn't go to the grocery store or afraid to go. He stood right by our side. So I offer him to you today. Come on, let's give God some praise today. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Reverend Mrs. Jeffrey Thomas has come to join Christian conversation. Come on, let's praise God in the house today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord, that we put down and kiss him and hug him and hold him and all. But we can't do all that stuff. We'll do that a little bit later. But I just want to thank God for this family. Mm. I want to thank God. Come on, let's praise God for it. Everyone in this is exactly what I want. God bless you all. We have some tears for you to fill out. We can do that now. You want to do that later? We can do it now. As we prepare our hearts for Holy Communion. Thank you. Thank God. Bless you for all that you are. Come on, let's praise God again for, for a new addition for New voices to be shouting in the sanctuary. We praise God. We praise God. And we thank God for all that He does. It's um, Holy Communion time. Now I wanted to say this before Holy Communion. We, we mentioned earlier how you give your tithes and offerings. We have a box in the back if you want to drop your envelope before you leave and for those of you who are watching and listening uh, you may use our PayPal account or just simply mail it to our post office box so we'll be thankful and so we come now for our holy communion time we come to praise God to thank him it was it was mm, two centuries ago
To you, Lord, belong all glory and honor, praise and adoration. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness and the sin that was so easily beset us. Make us to know your joy and your gladness. Give us your peace that is beyond all our understanding. For the vows we have broken and for those we have neglected. For the resolutions we have not kept and the excuses we have made. Lord, have mercy on us. You are God, our great provider, our protector and defender. You are our hope, our joy, our everlasting Father. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh, God, we thank you. For your Son who gave his life for us. We do thank you. And we read together. O oh, God, we praise you. We honor you. We adore you. We lift our voices in thanksgiving. You are God, the giver of all that is good and perfect. Consecrate us now that we might be worthy, that our faith may grow stronger, that our love for you might increase. This is our prayer. Amen. Now if you have your, if you have your little communion kit and you're ready to share, we are ready to share with you.
do that. We did it. I saw you over here and I couldn't reach you. I couldn't do anything to help you. I was, I was, I was, I was kind of watching as we were going, so we'll look at better.